My name's Tori, and you're listening to Tori Talks Music on Scatter Radio, and I'm on the phone with Eric from Aristo. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm fabulous. You guys have been pretty busy as a band. I mean, you guys have been on the road since the beginning of the summer, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you started with the Surrender Your Booty Tour with Sparks, and then after you guys came home, there was like a couple weeks... And you guys went back on the road, right? Yeah, we uh, we went out and just kind of did some stuff, like, by ourselves and with a couple friends. Touring is always fun for me. I think, like, touring is pretty much my favorite part of being in a band. Um, but the Sparks tour in particular was really good for us. Um, probably the most fun and the most accessible tour that we've done so far. What in particular made it? Like that, like, was it the guys? Was it where you went? Like, um, it was just like a combination of everything. You know, it was like, it was good shows in solid places, in a lot of places we hadn't played before. And now it's really cool because, like, since we were out with, uh, Sparks and Rocky, who, you know, are both more established bands than we are, uh, we got to play just one of their fans and then. Next time we went back to a lot of those places, we had kids come out where we hadn't gone on the tour, we probably wouldn't have. And you guys were touring, like, just a couple months after the release of your EP, so you guys were playing some relatively new stuff. How was the response to that? Um, good. Actually, I don't know that we played any old songs out on tour at all. Um, but yeah, people seem to be really into the new songs, which is cool. Because we are all super proud of it, and we really enjoy playing this song live. Did you visit any new places, like anywhere that you hadn't been before? Um, we had never played in Maryland before. We never played in Virginia. Um, we never played Nashville. How did you feel about those cities? I'm really glad we got to play Nashville finally because Nashville's a, it's a tough market to break into. So it was cool to go there with some bands that people already knew. Was there any place in particular that responded, like, especially well to you guys? Um, probably we had a hometown show. Um, after Nashville, we played Cincinnati, and that was, really great we just we played like a smaller uh venue kind of thing um and there were quite a few people there <laughs> and a lot of them like knew our stuff which was cool like they knew all the new songs and everything which was awesome but we're kind of starting to get that sometimes like we'll go somewhere and there'll be a few kids like singing all the words which is awesome but it's even crazier when it's like the majority of the crowd knows it on either of the tours that you were on this summer, were there any, like, tour pranks or tour stories that you could tell? Um, we did have kind of a, a cool tour prank the last night of the Sparks and Rocky tour in, uh, Canton, Ohio. Um, during, well, everybody was just kind of, like, messing with each other during, during people's sets all night, like, we were playing, and, like, a bunch of dudes from Rocky and Sparks came on stage and were, like, goofing around and singing our songs and stuff. <laughs> um, but during uh, Sparks and Rocky's last song, like, everyone just grabbed, like, any guitar that they could find laying around and, and went on stage and just, like, made a fool out of themselves. <laughs> and uh, Pete... Rocky was Emily's drummer and our drummer Chris both moved like <laughs> like half of their drum kits up on stage and were just sitting there <laughs> playing along. It was outrageous. There were like 20 people on stage. That's awesome. Yeah, I remember after the Connecticut show, it was me and I don't know if you remember Claire. She's been to a couple of your shows. But it was me, Claire, and, like, a few other people that we had met at that show. And we all, um, it was you guys and Rocky and Sparks were all out back. And we, like, charged you guys with water guns. And it ended up being... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. 
it was this huge water gun fight, and then um, I want to say it was James drenched someone with a like a full water bottle. He just poured it on someone's head. <laughs> that would have surprised me if it was James. I don't remember it. It definitely it was one of the singers, and it definitely wasn't Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking it was James. It sounds like they were really fun tours, and you guys have a lot yeah. to look forward to. Yeah, definitely. So, I've had a few people ask me to ask you, what exactly have you guys been doing now that, like, the tours are over? Like, is there going to be more writing, more touring? Um, definitely more touring as soon as we, uh figure out when and where and with who because you know right now it's like we we've played the east coast and and like our part of the midwest quite a bit but uh to go and play anywhere new we really need to be out with someone who's already played those markets and and has fans all over because otherwise we'd be you know we'd be like losing tons of money and wouldn't be anyone at all at the shows, so we're, right now we're kind of take, like taking a little bit of a not really break from touring, just like not touring as hard right now. But yeah, so we're all kind of just hanging out and like working and trying to save up some money right now. And then I think we'll probably be back out for at least another couple of weeks before the end of this year. Is there any place that you haven't been before that you would want to go? Who do you want to tour with? Um, so many bands. <laughs> um, I think I think someone asked us one time before what our ideal tour would be, and it's probably not all that realistic. But I'm pretty sure our answer was like Foo Fighters, Paramore, and Take Back Sunday, and then us. <laughs> that would be an awesome so tour. Um, I always like to end with this question. If the world ends in December, what would you like to have seen your band accomplish? Um, oh, man. By <laughs> December? Doesn't give us a whole lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably just to, to have kept like going in the same direction we're going now, which I think is progressing. I'd say so. It seems like everyone's really excited about Purgatory, so you guys have got yeah, some... Yeah, it's, it's been good. People seem to like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with that. Do you guys want to release any more singles off the EP or music videos or anything like that, or are you just going to keep touring on it? Um, I think we're going to do another video, hopefully before the end of this year. That's cool. I'm not entirely sure what song yet. I know we got a couple ideas, um, but I'm not sure if if we've decided 100 percent just yet. That's cool. But That's more stuff to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, and of course it'll you know it'll be all over like Facebook and Twitter and everything. Uh, make sure you like us on Facebook at facebook.com/slash/arista.music and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com. Sweet. All right, thank you so much.